Hello everyone and welcome to a new video about the skate box to train your hardscape skills. In this video we're going to talk about why you should use a skate box, how a skate box can look like and some examples of some hardscapes that I made. So why should you use a skate box? Well, that is pretty simple. A skate box gives you the opportunity to learn much faster. Let's say if you have a one tank and do a rescape every year then you will only practice with hardscape once a year. If you have some extra hardscape laying around, you can practice during the year. I recommend to practice a lot and make pictures of it. When you want to rescape your tank, you look at all the hardscapes that you have made and you pick the best one. This way you will reduce also the risk of scratches on your glass caused by placing stones in the aquarium. Because when you rescape your tank, you have a clear idea of what you want and don't need to move the stones that much. So let me show you a few examples of some forest hardscapes that I made in my skate box. On the left you see my first attempt of making a forest. On the right you see a forest style a few attempts later. The fun thing is that I really dislike the first forest on the left now. But at the moment that I set it up, I really liked it. You will see that almost every new hardscape that you make will be better. Here you can see a few examples of how a skate box can look like. Most important is that the front is clear so you can easily make adjustments. I have used a cardboard box before but it is not very firm. I prefer to make a wooden box of cheap plate material. In my case I used white plate material, but you can also paste some white paper inside to make it white. Make a box based on your most large tank, but a little bit more width so the sand will not fall out of it. For example, my biggest tank is 80 by 40 by 40 centimeters, and I have a skate box of 80 by 50 by 50 centimeters. I also use this box for my smaller nano tank, which is an ADA 45P. I just use an extra plate of wood to create the same dimensions as my other tank. The sand that I use is play sand. It is very easy to work with and is cheap. One thing that is really important to improve your hardscapes is ask for feedback. Try to make some friends in the hobby, use social media or forums to ask other scapers for some feedback. This way you can improve your hardscape a lot. There is always some bias on your own hardscape, and this way harder to be critical. Another tip that I would like you to give is to scape through the lens of your camera. If you are hardscaping and judge the scape by your eyes, it can look good, but on pictures it can look really different. And in my opinion, if the scape looks good on pictures, it would also look good in real life. So my tip is to scape through the lens of your camera. Finally, I want uh, to show you some hardscapes that I made in my skate box. So, if you have enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. 